Hi guys, welcome and in this section we will be discussing about the communication diagram. Now, what is this communication diagram? Now, communication diagrams are like the sequence diagram. It's a kind of interaction diagram shows how objects interact. Now, a communication diagram is an extension of object diagram that shows the object along with the message that travels from one to another. This is the key word, okay? It will show you the message that travels from one to another. In addition to the association among object, communication diagram shows the message the object sends each other, okay? Now, that is what you need to remember. But what is the purpose of communication diagram? Model message passing between objects or roles that deliver the functionality of use case and operations. You can also model mechanisms with the architectural diagram of the design of the system. You can capture interaction that shows the past messages between the objects and roles within the collaboration scenario. We have seen the collaboration diagram, right? So that one is what uh, you, you can able to visualize. And you can also model alternative scenario within the use case or operation that involves the collaboration of different object and interactions. Now, at a glance, communication diagrams are again dealing with objects. And I will give you an example because most of the items that you need to know in UML diagram is already known to you guys if you have gone through the whole course. So, let me draw and design a customer communication in an online shopping system and you will be able to immediately relate how these communication diagrams are looking like and then i will again explain when as and when we will be going through this right but before that what i will do is i will add the sequence also here so that i will get what i want right because this communication diagram as i said you are like the sequence diagram you you can see that in the communication diagram also there is a lifeline but i will use a separate lifeline to demonstrate the communication diagram that's why i have chosen the sequence also in some of the tools you may get the lifeline as it is and you don't need to bring back the other component like sequence diagram right so, I will name this as customer. I will take another lifeline for online shopping system. Not this one, sorry. So, as I said you, I will be taking it from the sequence. I will take it from here. I will name it as online shopping system. So, now we have two components of it. The third one what I want to bring is another lifeline which is product catalog. Now this will show you that how your lifeline is giving what let me just product catalog product catalog okay. So, spelling mistake was there. So, that's why I have just corrected it. I will bring another lifeline to it and I will say what else can be there. Uh, on In the online shopping system, you will go choose the product. Then there will be a shopping cart. Let me put a shopping cart. Okay. And then we can, after choosing, we can think of a payment gateway. This is very simple one. I am just demonstrating to prove you how you can do a communication diagram payment gateway then the order tracker can be there right so i will bring an order tracker as well now how these all will be related in a communication diagram how the communication basically is happening that is what i will be demonstrating you here okay now I have drawn everything. I will drag this lifelines so that we know how the interactions are happening. Now, what is the first action you want to put for a customer is the customer will generally when you go to a shopping cart, what do you do? 
you will be browsing the product so to browse the product i will send a message directly which will be saying that browse the product this is the first communication which is happening then what happens in the online shopping you will be fetching the product the online shopping will be fetching the product from the product catalog so the next one which i will like to give will be another message which will be just the next one and here i want to fetch the products what will be the next the moment you fetch the product you will be returning the product list now in the sequence diagram i have shown you that how the dotted lines come similarly in the communication also you have to choose that dotted line and give a return reply message and that is what i am doing here so what this action will be doing it will be returning the product list so the moment product list is returned what will you do in the next step you will be again replying back with a similar kind of message and say to the customer that display the products now try and focus on this particular things here the difference between sequence and this one will be very little but still you are trying to prove that what are the sequence of actions is happening or the communications is happening between the customer and online in this particular case so the moment you are able to do this what will be the next action now the customer has chosen the product say for example then the next action will be again we have to find out that i want to give a proper action and that time it will be dark color action what will be the next action say the customer has chosen the product you will be adding to the cart once this is added to the cart what will be the next thing you will be directly going from the online shopping system to the next message and that message will go from here to the shopping cart directly right and what is that you are doing you are adding the product to it the moment you are adding the product you have to update the cart also this shopping cart has to be updated how will be the reply message then shown you will be going and take a reply message and then you will be demonstrating that okay i will update the cart now the moment this updation of the cart happens what is the next thing you show to the customer you will be displaying the updated cart now display that to updated cart to the customer so i will write display updated cart the moment customer sees and happy with that what he do he will do is he will check out so the next action i will trigger will be a check out so i will give another message and i will say check out see the communication is happening and you are able to relate everything that happens in the online shopping system and this is how a communication diagrams help now what will you do immediately you will be reviewing your order and then you have to give an action as review order from here and where it will go it will again go to the shopping cart even before it goes to the payment gateway so review order after the review order is happened what will be the shopping cart ask for it will say okay if you are happy can you give me a confirmation of that order so for the confirmation it will be again a reply message that will come back and you ask for confirm order the moment you ask for the confirm order what is the next step it happens it will not go to the customer but from the online shopping system itself it will be initiating the payment if you agree on that the next step to do is you go there and initiate a payment action the payment action 
यू कैन राइट इनिशियट पेमेंट द मोमेंट कस्टमर इज रेडी टू इनिशिएट द पेमेंट दिस विल हैपन राइट एंड द नेक्स्ट स्टेप स्टेप इज वंस इट हिट्स द पेमेंट गेट वे द पेमेंट स्टेटस हैज टू कम बैक सो यू विल हैव ए रिप्लाई मैसेज अगेन गो टू द रिप्लाई मैसेज देर आर लॉर्ड ऑफ कम्युनिकेशन दैट यू कैन डू आई एम जस्ट यूजिंग दिस सिंपल थिंग सो दैट यू रिलेट इट एंड देन गो टू द नेक्स्ट लेवल नाउ हियर इट इज पेमेंट स्टेटस ओके once the payment status is known what will be the next step the customer needs to know what happened to my payment status so you again bring another line saying to the customer okay this is my display payment status the customer know okay that uh, payment has been done correctly what happens next the next will be the customer will try to get the product right so he will initiate the track order so what you can do is you can keep another message by saying track order to the online system correct and then you will be going from the online system to the order tracker this is the first time the order tracker is having an action so you put that so everything has gone now of that that fetch order status is what you will do right the moment you fetch the order status what happens will a message come yes the return status has to come right so what you will do you will again go give a reply back and tell to whom you will tell to the shopping online shopping system with return status once the return status the status comes back what will you do you will show this or display this to the customer how will you do that again take this and the reply message comes back this is what i am showing in a very small level you can track each and everything whatever comes to your mind you can modify this diagram uh, further if you think i have missed anything right so this this diagram is more of interaction between the customer and various components of the online system like product catalog and all the shopping cart payment gateway and order tracking system so who are the participants here the customer is the participant and what he wants is he want to purchase product online and who is online system here the main system that facilitates the online shopping experience who is the product catalog the product catalog is the component responsible for listing all the available products who is the shopping cart the component where selected products are added before purchase what is the payment gateway doing the system that handles all kind of payment transaction including your credit card uh, and any other online banking systems right what is the order tracker order tracker is a component that provides update on the order status how the interactions happens by seeing this we are browsing the product the customer initiate a request to the browse products the online system fetches the product based on whatever has been requested then you are adding to the shopping cart here and you are updating the cart the person is displaying the updated cart from there once that is displayed what does that do he will be preparing for the checkout the customer decide to proceed with the purchase and initiate a checkout right the moment he initiate the checkout the online shopping systems reviews the order with the shopping cart the shopping cart then confirms the order details and what happens the moment it is confirmed then a payment gateway initiate payment is happening and later you are displaying the payment status to the customer and then the customer once the payment is finished it is trying to track the order fetch the order status from the order tracker return the status and display the order status that is all you have done with this message arrows in the message you will be able to get lot of different kind of message depending upon what you want to do if you want to terminate something if you want to destroy message if you want to call message 
there are different kinds of varieties depending upon the use case you are using you can choose what you want to do so this is what i wanted to tell you about the communication diagram hope i have been able to explain this and you can draw a communication diagram anytime thank you guys and see you soon